Hey y'all, it's Shannon. So I'm coming back at you with another video. So this is an experiment. So I've seen a couple of pictures and paintings kind of similar to this and I had an idea and so basically I'm starting with a blank canvas that I'm making not blank, which I'll blank out later. You'll see. It's going to be an interesting process through this one. So I wet the canvas with water and then I'm adding a bunch of the different Liquitex muted inks. I love the acrylic inks and I really love the muted line. I think it's beautiful. I'm adding some more water. Uh, I used mostly the Liquitex muted gray, the turquoise or blue, and the magenta purpley, but I also used the green and I think that's all of them. I used all of them basically, but mostly I used the Liquitex gray and I really, or the muted gray, and I had a lot of fun with that, and like I said, I'm just adding some water and kind of tilting it. I also added in a little bit of white ink from, uh, it's not ink, but it's the Dr. P.H. Martin white, uh, their liquid acrylics they have, and then I'm adding some <clears throat> saran wrap. I like to do this method. I believe it is it, I saw it on one of the Color in Your Life episodes, but then I know someone who's been on Cheap Joe's YouTube channel also did it, and I was trying to be cheap because I was running low of uh, saran wrap, so I broke a piece off. I probably should have just made, like, sliced another one because it ended up kind of um, muted and muddying the water, so to speak. So, But I was able to fix it, and it looked pretty good when we were done. Okay, so what I'm trying to do now is to kind of lighten the background some. I love the background on this, but for what I really wanted to do, it needed to be more muted. So I'm adding some of the white in, and the Peach Martin white was really, really thick. Like, usually white acrylic inks or liquid acrylics are a thicker consistency than a lot of them, but even this was, it was pretty thick. I had to add a lot of water and stuff and just kind of lighten it up and see what sort of magic we could make happen and yeah so I'm just like I said just kind of trying to play around this whole painting is really an experiment anyways and so yeah that's kind of where we're at okay so I am going in I added some additional water to this after you last saw and what I'm going in now I like to do this sometimes is take paper towels or uh, towels and go in and kind of soak up some of the paint and then just play with some of the brush strokes. Kind of see see what I can see with it, see how I feel about it. And like I said, just kind of step away after this. Step away. Okay, so I'm taking inspiration from a painting I saw, but it's obviously going to be different. Okay, so this is kind of the inspiration for the painting. Oops. This is just gonna stay at my house. It's upside down for you, sorry about that. So, I'm just gonna outline it really quick, roughly, and then start. So, I'm just using a black gesso. Also, sorry for the super weird angle. Ah, I can't open it. <sighs> open it, seriously, like, open it. Somebody. So I sped this up four times, but basically I did a real rough and loose outline and I took this idea from, I think it's uh, Tracy Creighton, I'm not sure I'm saying her name right, she's an Australian artist, I saw her on Color In Your Life, now I sort of follow her, which is how I find a lot of people. So I'm just kind of blocking it in basically to give it some base shape and then I'll go back and I'll start adding in lighter colors, but I'm using a black gesso and I really love doing this for like things I'm trying to be looser with. It's so fun. I would encourage anyone to give this a shot and it just, it's a lot of fun to try. 
Okay, so now I'm going back in with really thin layers of white paint while it's still a little wet and just blocking in what I would call base color. So it just it puts in the dark and the outline. It lets lets you build colors on colors, if that makes sense. It lets you do a lot of layering, uh, which is a fun way to to build a painting. And it's still allowing me to be free enough that if I need to go change things, I can definitely do that. And I'm just adding lots and lots of layers, like lots and lots of thin layers of white paint and blending it with the black, as you can see here. Really, really going in pretty heavy with it in certain spots, but then kind of, like I said, letting it blend with that black quite a bit. I'm just going in with kind of a dry brush now to create some additional dimension in some of these spots. And like I said, it's just building layers. I, I don't know what else to say. I feel like I say that all the time. It's like with cakes. You just build layers as you go in terms of decoration and dimension and stuff. And it's just it's doing that, but not you can't eat it when you're done. I don't know. Uh, you could, but it'd be real bad for you. Um, so... Anyways, I'm not sure where that came from. So now I'm going back in with my black gesso to add in some shower sh shadows, not showers, but shadows and details, things like that, that I really want to kind of further outline so that you get like real dimension, real shape with this and kind of some fluttery flowiness, some flowing. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to let it dry and then we'll come back to it in just a minute. So now that I've let things kind of dry, I'm going back in with some white. I'm going to carve out some of these black areas. I think it's dry. I'm pretty sure this is dry. So I really want to kind of add in some highlights. Yeah, okay, it's dry. And then use a dry brush for this and then focus on the center and pull out, if that makes sense. So I really want the center to be lighter than the outside to, again, add dimension to this flower and really just play with it and I'm a big fan of being okay and going back in with a paper towel and things like that to mess with it fix it like work out things that I couldn't do with a brush as you can see here but I really like I said just adds dimension going back in with that white and really adding in those brush strokes looks good so now what I'm going to do I made my own glitter medium because I'm a classy lady like that um, it's quite pretty. I don't think I have my finger smoking right here. Yeah. So when I so I'm it's hopefully gonna be like that, but in the center. So here I'm just further defining kind of where the center of the petals or the, the center of the flower is and what all exactly I kind of want that to look like. So I'm scraping with the palette knife. I'm not sure that's like really noticeable, but that's that's what I'm doing is I'm scraping and it adds dimension and it helps to create that those lines. All right, and we're back. We're fairly dry for the most part. So what I'm doing now is I'm mixing up some impasto gel and some white paint to really give it some texture, some structure, almost sculptural. And I'm right now, I'm going in with my black ink and I'm using a dropper again to just kind of outline this stuff. Like I said, it's all about building layers and creating that dimension, however you wanna do it. Uh, this just makes me happy and I enjoy doing it. So kind of got a little too much there. So I went in with the old trusty paper towel. <laughs> and picked it up and then I decided, I don't know why I thought it was a good idea, but I did, uh, that I should add in some gold ink and yeah, it was okay, but I definitely, doing this again, I, I wouldn't do that, but that's all about experimentation, right? So just doing the thing and seeing what happens. Okay, so here with that impasto gel and the white, 
<clears throat> paint I'm going in now and I'm gonna add in over the black and it just creates so much dimension and gives it like structure and almost a sculptural feel I really love paintings that you look at them and you're like I kind of want to touch that and also the ink kind of bleeds into the white and it just gives us a really cool effect when it dries because the ink is really flat and the white isn't but it just makes this like odd ripple and it's just really cool looking when it dries so I really dig this